Hello everyone, this is Nicola and Prince here. Thank you for joining us today on our video. Following the recent request and survey that I did on our community page on YouTube, the votes have been counted and the verdict is in. The next video that people wanted us to talk about was the design and process of the stairs formation. So we're starting the video when we did the foundation on the ground floor where on your left of the screen, you can see, see the stair to stairs. There you go on the left, that's what goes into the foundation and that's where the beginning process starts. Whilst you observe the ground floor foundation and the stair to stairs, just a little background for those of you who are recently joined watching us and joined the channel. Um, this is a four bedroom house in Accra which we started building in, was it March or April, Prince? I can't remember. Yeah, uh, it was March last year. <laughs> yeah, March 2022. So um, we're getting quite into the project now and um, we're enjoying the journey so far. But thank you for all of you that's joined us and subscribed to us. Um, continue to encourage us guys with the comments and the likes. We do really appreciate all your comments and interactions. And we hope that you're finding the um, information useful. We just want to take a moment to reflect on the video that we did last week where we talked about the feature columns and we spoke about the windows for the first floor. Um, thank you for all your comments and queries. It's, it proved to be quite an engaging discussion. Yeah, yeah, very, very good uh, uh, points were raised, uh, particularly about how the double glaze uh, is done in Ghana. Um, I was of the view that once you get a double glaze, it's the same standard wall uh, you get uh, up in the, in Europe or in the USA. Uh, but apparently, uh, some double glaze are just glass on glass. There is no... Um, uh, uh, separator between the glass, uh, there is no gas infill at all. Uh, this units, so effectively, if you're getting a double glaze, that it's just a glass on top of a glass, effectively, it, it's not gonna offer you any acoustic properties, uh, it's not gonna offer you what you're actually paying for. So, it was a very good point, and uh, because when we go the quotation. I was a view that double glaze is double glaze. <laughs> well, that's um, what the, the, the saying is, isn't it? Double glaze, so you yeah. would expect it to be. But. Uh, but also, when the issue were raised, we watched some other videos recently on other channels where we find out that the installer was saying we took our time to make sure that there is no sweat uh, within the windows when we were placing it, and then we find out there was no space or at all between the, the panes uh, of, 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 of the glass. Uh, so, Based on your comments, uh, we have to go back to the uh, to, to the quotation. We are considering and say, how are these windows actually manufactured? And and uh, it's good news to say that they said yes. There is um, a spacer uh, between the glass and the gas is uh, is filled with gas or seal. Uh, so there's nothing to worry about. They 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 are able to provide me some acoustic properties. Because I wanted to to give me what what is the DB rating of these windows when it's all done. If I get that information, uh, I'm happy to share uh, uh, with you guys. But, but very very good. Uh, thank you all for the comments. Uh, there are some of the stuff I think the good things about the YouTube. There are some of the stuff you assume they are what you are used to wear, especially when you are abroad. Uh, but because of these uh, comments, there are stuff we find out that actually. You need to actually dig further into all these things to get a, a better understanding. Yes, thank you guys. What you're seeing on the screen now is the moulding for the stairs that we had done first. <laughs> the, no, the first attempt. The first the attempt. Test. So <laughs> when, originally when we had the staircase designed, we wanted a 10 steps to a mid landing and then another 10 steps. However, um, we had some challenges, didn't we, with the ceiling height when it was finished? Yes, it's, 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 it's the height because what was drawn there to the top of the first floor is three meters, uh, 
from from the ground there but uh, by the time we do uh, the beam and then the, we cast the floor was uh, uh, thicker than the six inches because of the, the big iron drill uh, we use so our floor was about 220 uh, with more than the six inches were about eight inches uh, a floor slab so the, the working out the stair to exactly what we wanted become a challenge uh, so if you can see now that image there, the stair was just too steep and they could not get the the the, the tread we want. Uh, so they were having uh, 10 steps uh, to have landing, then nine to go up. Yeah, what, what the challenge was when this was being done, Mike was on another site doing some other yes, work. So it is. the carpenters were left to do the formation of the stairs with the drawing however they just couldn't get it so luckily Mike was able to come back with our engineer yes. and had another look at it and redesigned it so that the mid landing and the stairs the gradient was correct yeah I, I, I must say that the characters did have a go I think for first when they sent me the video and I said that wasn't right the 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 angle was just too steep you, you cannot that step doesn't work and they said, oh, they'll have it again. Did did it? He was still wasn't right. So I said, no, uh, let's get Mike and um, Nelson back in. And Mike and Nelson went. Uh, and then finally, uh, they were able to sort it out. Yeah, so I think it's um, that's one of the things that's really important is um, making sure you have daily videos when something's been done on the day. Um, as a project manager or anyone that's having a building project get those videos at the end of day because those videos are where you will look observe them look at your plans and pick up on things that aren't working for you errors that might be needed to be corrected or even just general ideas that you want changing so you have to think about how you make sure that that's been overseen as well i, I think what what is also is is that is that they will these these people the carpenters will try to convince you to go for something that you don't want because when i said to them the stair needed to be uh 10 treads to half landing and 10 to to the top of, of the first floor uh, they said oh we could get it uh we could do uh 10 we start from the fir first floor we have 10 to the half landing the 10 uh to the ground floor but then that 10 a stair will be sticking out outside the wall uh, uh, of the uh, uh, of the stair core and what you're seeing here is the the lower part of the staircase when they did the final um, version and you can see the bottom of the step there it doesn't actually stick out it doesn't protrude into the hallway and we was very explicit when we wanted it doing that we didn't want any steps sticking out we see quite often that when the stairs are formed they protrude into the hallway and we aesthetically we just didn't want that yeah because if you got a stair core you want your stairs should be within the stair core not the first step sticking outside the stair core uh, aesthetically it doesn't work uh, so for us it was no go uh, because they were trying to convince us and then you still get 10 step, 10 step 10 step i said no charles yeah. i'm not gonna spend all this money build the house when i open my door front door i see a stair sticking out yeah, but you, you do see you do see it quite yeah, yeah, a lot. Yeah, we but saw, we saw some of that's that, one uh, of the uh, things that's yeah. it's really important, isn't it? Yeah, when you yeah. open your door, and, and that's why you have those kind of four D visuals done, isn't it, to help you? So what you're seeing here is the starting of the formation of the ironworks. Yeah, the iron rods. Uh, what it is is you need to. Uh, uh, have all the your iron rods need to be you need to chase the walls and iron rods go into the wall as additional support um, what we have done is we we did a, a, a beam so there was the wall that uh, was uh, brought up to the level the stair which is about 1.5 meters high do so the stair doesn't need additional beam to sit on it sits on the wall uh, then we talk about using that opening there as additional uh, window to get some more light on, onto the to the half landing. But you, you need to change the walls. <laughs> Remember when there's still Bender wants uh, somebody else to change the wall because he said uh, the the step is uh, these blocks are 
um, curry dust and they are too hard for him to, to chase. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. If you want to build a solid, good quality house, you will get the workman complaining about it. But yeah, it's, um, it's important that it's done. And here you can see at the bottom step how they've put that into the ground. Um, and you see it, it flushes really well with the end of the wall. So that's how we wanted it to be. So that it's, it's nice and smooth and the way it's done. Um, talking about the tread for the staircase. So this was something we had very clear specifics on and it's something that if you're at the design process now, you need to start thinking about how you want your stairs. Alongside the design team that you have, um, you need to think about obviously the layout and how you want the stairs. Yeah, and also the, the, there is Ghana building code. The question is, does your builder know that there is a Ghana building code about how the stairs, uh, uh, the width of this, the minimal width and the minimal uh, width of the stairs, the rise, the rises, what the size should be? Uh, does your builder know? Does your designer know? So you, these are the kind of things you need to be uh, asking the people, not just that they give you a stair. I see a lot of stairs that the actual stair, the, the width of the stair is, is, is about a foot. Uh, so if you start about the stair being a foot wide, by the time you put your screening and the tiling, then <laughs> your stairs become very, very deep. It's like you're climbing the pyramids. <laughs> it's become very, very deep. So to me, yes, we, we were quite quite specific uh, because the what was drawn was just a structural stairs. So it's, it's just a stair without any finishes. So we, we were quite keen and said, this is the measurement we, we want for our stairs. Um, didn't want the stairs to be any more uh, uh, greater than uh, nine inches um, and the, the the width. Then by the time you 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 put your your tiling or your granite, wherever you want to clad the stairs with, you just be within the the requirements within the uh, the building code, Ghana building code of what the the minimum uh, tread should be. Uh, then it become more easier to. Uh, to go. Um, I guess I have some other arguments uh, things when I speak to other designers uh, they tell they say that you need the, the stairs need to have a, a gently slope uh, because when you are older it become more difficult to, to climb the stair but I said um, that's why we um, have a landing <laughs> you have half landing take a break <laughs> and, and continue again and um, also that I guess it's the design of your house because most houses in Ghana have bedrooms downstairs so you don't even need to worry about that there's always bedrooms downstairs yeah, so <laughs> our house we, we we have a flexible space uh, uh, downstairs that can be easily converted into a bedroom if uh, god willing uh, we are the age that we cannot climb the stairs uh, to go upstairs we will convert the the, 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 the the ground the ground room the living room is the same size as the 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 primary bedroom upstairs so that would just be adapted to become a bedroom and and let the the kids and the grandkids enjoy their upstairs <laughs> <laughs> so you can see the hallway here and the stairs i'm really pleased with how it ended so obviously you can see it doesn't stick out and we're just really happy with that and also when you're designing the staircase and the the hallway just think about your furnitures you need to think about how you're going to access and get the um, furniture's upstairs, think about the width of it and making sure that you've got the right angles to get in upstairs. It's, me, I always, the hallways, I always look for, for that wow factor. When you open the door, you want to see that wow factor when you go into the building, not creating a small, a small space, kind of alleyway into a living room. To me, aesthetically, it doesn't work. I am not a designer, but I've, I've seen a lot of builders work on a lot of buildings, expensive, uh, high-end buildings that I know what is the train out there? So, to me, it's, you need to have that wow factor when you open the door and, and get and get into the building. Yeah, I think it's really important. I think the design phase of any building project is very critical. I think having that architectural team and looking at the design and how you're going to visualize walking in. You want a house that's got a real nice ambiance that flows well, that has the facilities that you need but also blends to the outside and the inside. So just take the time thinking about how you want your own house to be. Obviously, everyone has their own design ideas. Some people 
like to walk into the living room and the staircase to be in there. Other times people like the staircase to be further at the back of the house. So just just think about how you want your own design. But I think the main point of this video is to have you really think about the actual stairs itself, how it's made, the features that's going to enable you to mobilise your furnitures around and the treads and the details of the staircase. So to summarise for you all, the process of the staircase. The first one is to make sure that your stairs design is, complies with the Ghana building code. And then what you need to do is make sure that the carpenter comes and forms the staircase as the drawings and that there's no compromises on the, the design of that. It would be a good time then to have your engineer come to do a site visit just to ensure that you're happy with the staircase design. And then you would have the steel bender come and place the rods, making sure that they're chased into the wall so that they're fully secure. The next step would be that you would have the capping to return to form the treads for the staircase. And finally, you would have your casting completed. So that's kind of the process of the stairs. Um, that's just an overview for you. I think, as I say, in the survey that I did on the community page, we wanted to make sure that we're providing detailed breakdowns in different areas. Yeah, no, normally the casting, all the, the stair and the, and the first floor is cast the same. Um, there are other type of stairs you can do. You, you can finish all your your building work and decided to do a metal or timber stairs. So there are different ways to do it. But if you want to do a concrete uh, stairs, uh, as well, we have uh, the advice is make sure you are following the building code uh, because at the end of the day, when your building is finished, you need to obtain occupancy certificate. If you don't do that, you cannot insure your building. So it's, it's, it's quite good to make sure that to some extent you are following the building code. If you do need any guidance on these processes, guys, we have got our details on the screen for our engineer and the foreman. And we've also got our email address, which you can get in contact with us um, to discuss your requirements that you may have. Um, I just want to say thank you to everyone that's been watching our videos. And we hope you've enjoyed this video and that you've found it useful. Do hit the subscribe button, guys. Encourage us and join us on this journey. Um, we really enjoy that you're joining us. And thank you for watching today. Thank you for all your comments. They are very useful. Uh, there are some of the stuff, as I said earlier on, you don't really think about until someone uh, put a comment. So... It doesn't matter whatever you think the comment is, uh, please just put it down. Yeah, we're not we're not <laughs> one to delete negative comments. <laughs> Criticism, go ahead. It's uh, YouTube. Uh, Criticize, have views. Better. <laughs> it makes, it makes it better. Yeah, we, it makes we don't better. delete comments or anything. Yeah. We're happy to have that. Um, thank you for joining us all. And let us know in the comments below how you're getting on with your project. But also comment below on what other detailed videos you'd find helpful as well. We're happy to put things together for you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye.